Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. Today's video is extremely, what's the word I'm looking for? It's dangerous. Something bad could happen today. And what I'm talking about is we have a pit bull with us. Very dangerous, very dangerous breed, bloodthirsty, uh, ready to just kill, right? Upon the sight of another animal or a human. And uh, we have Apollo, he's a year and a half year old pit bull, extremely dangerous, and we're getting ready to have him come out of the crate. And uh, so, just warning you now, if you're scared of violence or blood, this is not the video for you. Uh, viewer discretion is highly advised on this one. Um, I wanna make sure that the, my camera girl, you're ready to dial 911. Should something bad happen, we have uh, 911 already in the phone, we just have to press the button. Um, anyways, wish me luck. We're gonna go ahead and let the beast out. All right, this is him. As Steve Irwin would, would say, Crikey, we got one. Got him in the cage. He's a wild one, look at him. Look at that sideways look he's giving you. He's ready to lash out at any moment. Well, like a crocodile in a cage, we're gonna let him out. Are you ready to dial 911 should we need to? All right, get ready folks. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's ready to kill. He's ready to kill. Foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I don't know why pit bulls get such a bad rap. <laughs> Apollo's about one of the nicest dogs I've ever met. He's a wild thing, that's for sure. A lot of energy. But, uh... I, I, he doesn't have a, a mean bone in his body, this guy here. Just like any other pit I've ever worked with. Um, why pits get such a bad rap usually is, again, bad ownership. I mean, some of the nastiest dogs out there are chihuahuas, right? They bite people all the time. One of the meanest dogs I've ever met actually was a Labrador Retriever. Um, I have yet to meet a mean pit. Um, it's just like humans. There's nice humans and bad humans. It doesn't matter uh, uh, race, sex, where you're from, none of that. Uh, it's how you're brought up, you know? And um, he's been brought up right and he's been trained with us. And uh, this is about as mean as he gets right here. So I'm not saying anybody and everybody should just go out and get a pit bull. You should be experienced with large breeds and uh, you should be able to handle them and have the uh, physical strength to do so because again, extremely strong animals. Uh, but this video is just to talk about the breed in general, our experience with them and you know, is it a right fit for you and your family? I think pits are amazing, amazing family animals. Sit. Sit, Bubba. Come on. Come on. All right, good. One of the reasons they get such a bad rap is because of the amount of damage they can inflict and will inflict if they are allowed to become aggressive or have super, super strong prey drive. And, and where most pits end up hurting other animals or killing another dog is because they haven't been trained right, they haven't been socialized, and they may have a tremendous prey drive. If you're noticing this, it's just because he has such a happy dog that he opened up his tail and he's got a little, uh, a little injury there on the end of his tail that we're just trying to get healed up. So anyways, back to Apollo here and why pits get such a bad rap. Sit, come on. Good. Relax. Just like any dog, they most have prey drive. Pits in general have a strong prey drive. They have a strong drive to uh, chase things. And if the neighborhood cat were to be running from them, and you don't have a strong recall, you don't have them hooked up to a leash, or you haven't socialized them with cats, then that cat might start looking like a nice tasty treat or something they wanna to go play with. The only problem, and why pits get the bad rap, is A, their looks, because they are very muscular, nice big heads, but also, because why don't you lay down how about that so you stop wiggling because of the uh the amount of power they have in their jaws so you may have heard of uh something called lock jaw do pit bulls have lock jaw that's a myth there's nothing mechanical in this dog's uh bone structure or their muscles that makes their jaws lock up the thing is is that they have strong strong muscles look at the thickness here it's like an inch and a half thick of muscle that allows them that when they do clamp down 
they're able to hold on. Uh, and you've seen probably videos of pit bulls hanging from trees and being swung around um, and just by holding on purely with their, their jaw muscles. You get another shot here. <laughs> this dog hasn't even done bite work. And just look at the musculature here. It's crazy. So, but other than that, it's just like any other dog. They just happen to have really strong jaw muscles, right? Because they were bred to, uh, to take down and hold uh, on to uh, prey animals. Like yeah, boars, use these for boar hunting, um, bull baiting, you know, thousands of years of building these dogs up to, to work as a pack and take down uh, big game animals. Uh, and if you don't give them a job, uh, maybe your neighbor's cat might be that animal they want to take down, but that, that could be any dog, right? It's just pit bulls are able to do more damage and because they have usually high drive and kind of a, a strong, what's the word, a pain tolerance, right? It's, it's hard once they're in that drive and going into a, you know, they, they're hitting the rev limiter, um, it's hard to bring them back down, right? Like, but that's any dog. Um, but mostly it's just their look and these big muscles up here and here that if they were to be bad dogs, they cause a lot of damage. Again, going back to the discussion that chihuahuas can be pretty dangerous animals, they can be vicious, nasty, but you know, the worst they'll do is bite you on the finger maybe. Um, he's a lot bigger than that. So if he wanted to be mean, he could do a lot of damage and hurt people. Um, these would and have actually made great police canine dogs, but they just have the stigma about them, uh, an unnecessary stigma. And so, in fact, he's not even a pure pit. We didn't even mention that. He's a pit mixed with a bull terrier. Bull terriers are like the McKenzie dog, the, the ed, egg Target head dog. shaped dog. What kind? Target dog. Yeah, the, the dog you see in Target. Um, so he, he's crossbred with that a little bit to get a little more size um, to his head, which, you know, looks good. He's a good looking dog, really nice. Anyways, I mean, I, if we had the room for him and he was available for sale, I'd probably even buy this dog. That's how much I like him. But he's going back to his owners. We've had him about three or four weeks now and he'll be going back in a few days, uh, fully trained. And uh, anyways, we just wanted to take a moment to uh, give a shout out to pit bull owners across the world. and. You know, let them let everybody know that they're not bad dogs. They're they're phenomenal dogs. Highly trainable, very intelligent, extremely loyal, fantastic around kids. Uh, I trust him 100% around my kids. And I have a year and a half year old and a three and a half year old girl. Um, he wouldn't hurt them at all. The only way he'd hurt them is bumping into them by accident because he's kind of a, a wild man. But really good dogs. They like people who live an active lifestyle. They like to go on their walks. They like to play fetch. They love to play tug. Um, and they also like to just hang out and be loved too, as you can see. So anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. Is a pit bull right for you? Yes, if you have a family, absolutely. Uh, make sure you check in your areas. I know there's a lot of laws, uh, like in Dade County in Florida, you're not allowed to have pit bulls. Uh, so people register them as all kinds of other things. But uh, the way it was explained to me, if it looks like a pit, walks like a pit, all that stuff, it's a pit and you know, you could run into a situation where the dog could be confiscated or something like that, and we don't need that. Dade yeah, Dade County will put them down. They will not adopt them out. So I don't know if there's other counties like that across uh, America. You got to look into your, your county. But um, barring that, man, if you raise them right, it's going to be a great dog. Just like Apollo here. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bubba. Yeah. Let's get a, let's show them, let's show them what a uh, vicious pit. Uh. Ah. His tail wagging yeah. over there. Ah. <laughs> ah. Like a little monster. Yeah. By the way, I'm not hurting him. But, you know, if you had to deliver medicine or something, there is a way to open a dog's mouth. In fact, I'll, we'll make this a little mini training episode for those who watch to the end. If you need to deliver medicine to your dog or check out their teeth, there's a particular way that I would suggest you open their jaws. Even the strong jaws of a dangerous pit bull like this one well it helps if they're panting but let's say they know it's coming like you're going to give them medicine and they know it's coming the best way to open a dog's mouth come here you got a good angle there come here bubba yeah all right come on shh, shh, shh. i know i know throw that over there all right 
if you had to, if you had to get in there, maybe they're eating something not supposed to, you gotta get it out. Maybe you gotta deliver medicine. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Shh, shh, good. You would take their own lips. This is the technique. Let's say his mouth was closed. You roll down like this, and look where his teeth is. See that one? I'm gonna roll his own lip over his teeth on the bottom and or the top, one, the other, both. Depends what you can get. And then you go like such, all right? He doesn't like it because it's uncomfortable. We haven't worked on that, but now we can do it. The trick is if he were to bite down, right? He's gonna be biting his own lip. And so your fingers are protected. Because the worst thing would be, and it's happened to me before, if you reach down like this, even if he just closes his mouth, like I don't even want to do it, but even if he just closes his mouth to, just because he wanted to close his mouth, not bite down, it hurts because of the, uh, Oh, what's the word for it? It's kind of like scissors. You've got to use scissors to cut through something thick, like cardboard. You don't use the tip of the scissors, you use the back. That's where the most, that's the word I'm looking for. Leverage. A ton of mechanical leverage right here. Doesn't matter that he's a pit bull or not. This is a dangerous spot to have your fingers. Because if you just close it, it's just going to hurt. It's not going to feel good. But if you do like this and wrap, see, I'm wrapped there. If he were to bite down, he's just going to bite his own lips like such and that's how we do it so if you had to drop some food in there great the other little trick you can do too is especially dogs with more droopy lips you can put medicine uh, whether it's a pill or a liquid you stick it there close it up blow on their nose rub here and when you see the tongue come out like that they've swallowed and then that pill would have been swallowed that that medicine would have went down so a cool little tip and trick for the folks at home in case they got a pit bull. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Attacked by a pit. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, I know. I know. Water? Yeah, I need some water. Alright, anyways, video's got long enough. If you like what you see, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for our adventures in dog training. We're getting ready to take this, this monster, this monster back. We're getting ready to take him back, drop him off to his family. And uh, we have two Dobermans coming. Two more vicious breeds, guard dogs. And we're gonna train them, train them up with some obedience. It's a brother and sister combo. They'll be with us in a week or so. We'll have them for a few weeks, getting them trained up. And uh, anyways, always got different dogs coming in and out. Stay tuned also, we're gonna be doing a puppy giveaway in the coming weeks or months. We haven't quite decided yet, but we're gonna take you through A to Z, picking a breeder, picking a puppy, raising that puppy right, teaching him obedience, and then at the end, after three or four weeks of us having him, uh, we're gonna give him away to one lucky winner, somewhere across the USA. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe, share this with your friends. Um, if you have any special requests on dog training, put them in the comments below. And uh, with that, we will see you on the next video. Say bye, buddy. Say bye. 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 See you on the next video, folks. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go.